there's something like 400 different ingredients in cosmetics that are illegal in Europe that are legal in the United States. Flame retardants show up in a lot of different products. Uh, one of the most common places to find them is in mattresses. One interesting thing is that flame retardants uh, accumulate in fat tissue, which is why they often show up in breast tissue. So a few years ago, uh, in Sweden, they did a study of these flame retardants and how women were becoming exposed to them, and they became very concerned that these flame retardants were showing up in women's breast tissue and fat tissue. So they just eliminated them. They said these flame retardants are now illegal. And in something like three years, the uh, number of women that were uh, ex uh, expressing these um, chemicals in their breast tissue dropped by 30%. Have some companies that will actually make a particular brand and they will sell one version of it to Europe where they are required to take these chemicals out and they'll sell a different version of it with the chemicals in to the United States because we have no regulations about that. Now, no such rules have been passed in the United States. We seem incapable of regulating uh, synthetic chemicals and consumer products. Uh, Europe is way ahead of the United States in regulating these, these toxic chemicals. And Scandinavia is really even farther ahead than Europe. It's like the triumph of companies over public health is really what has happened in the United States. In Europe, they use what's called the precautionary principle, which is they want to make sure that stuff is safe before it gets released out onto the market. I think we would be very well served by following that model.